You've seen this scene at the beginning of our experimental videos and today we are going to talk about this little device in terms of radiation protection. This is an electronic personal dosimeter. You take this with you before you enter the lab and you record the value it shows on a list at the beginning of your lab day. This device allows students who do not have a radiation pass to work with radioactive materials and to keep track of the received radiation dose. It's crucial to wear the dosimeter in the chest area because it estimates the effective whole body dose based on this position. So if the dosimeter reads a certain value that's roughly how much radiation you've been exposed to. It measures all types of radiation taking into account various biological factors based on the prescribed wearing position. Now let's perform an exaggerated experiment. Imagine the dosimeter is you. And here I've taken the most potent calibration source from the last video. Our radium 226 160 kilo electron volts gamma source. For comparison, the dose rate measured by our dose rate monitor at this distance is about 5 microsieverts an hour. This would mean that after approximately 12 minutes, you would receive about 1 microsievert. I'd strongly recommend to you to watch this video holding a ruler in your hand and see if you would be comfortable holding a radioactive source as close to your body as here for 8 minutes straight. It takes a considerable amount of ignorance and stupidity in our lab experiments to accumulate an effective dose of one microsievert, which is still miles away from detectable health risks. Now let's go for full contact, placing it in our breast pocket. One microsievert after just 33 seconds and accumulates 6 microsieverts after 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Now let's try a stronger source, technetium. Look how the contamination monitor is responding to it. However, after a total of 10 minutes of measurement, the personal decimeter still shows nothing. Technetium emits low energy beta radiation. It does emit a lot, but the beta particles have very little energy. Technetium radiation does not have a high biological effect, another reason why it's used in medicine. Even when measured in full contact, it does not show any microsieverts after 4 minutes. Next we have the cesium-137 stock solution in a lead container representing a very strong radiation source. It takes 3 minutes and 40 seconds to accumulate one microsievert at a distance of 10 centimeters. On full contact it takes about 17 seconds even with about 1 centimeter of lead shielding between us and cesium. After 1 minute and 40 seconds it reaches 4 microsieverts. Now let's look at the legendary blue barrel. It's located in the farthest corner of our radioactive storage, protected by a lead door and still protected by another lead shield. What the personal dosimeter does here is equivalent to cuddling with 20 kilograms of uranium ore. That's a bad idea. After 5 minutes, two microsieverts have been accumulated, which completely matches the contact dose rate of the dose rate monitor reading 24 microsieverts an hour. All right, so let's get into the danger zone. This is approximately 10 millisieverts an hour of 60 kilo electron volt gamma radiation. If your personal dosimeter ever starts beeping like that, just just run, all right? All right, at the end of the day, the current value needs to be entered into the list. So what will happen if the number is one microsieverts higher than it was at the start of the day? Well, nothing happens. It's perfectly normal. It could be background radiation or it could be that the dosimeter already has received 48.8 microsieverts, but it only displays whole number. If another 0.2 microsieverts of background radiation is added, it will round up to 49. If the number has increased by 4 or 5, our professor might talk to you about this. What were we measuring here? In the lab, it's about occupational exposure to radiation. There is also a natural radiation exposure which averages about 2.4 millisieverts per year. 52% of this comes from inhaling radon. 
20% from external radiation by radionuclides like potassium-40, uranium-238 or thorium-232. 16% comes from cosmic radiation, yes, even if you're standing on the Earth's surface, you are exposed to it, and 12% comes from food which contains potassium-40, carbon-14, as well as trace amounts of uranium-238, and another 0.3% from other sources. You can't avoid these 2.4 millisieverts a year. Additionally, the average person receives about 0.6 millisieverts per year from medical procedures. So we are looking at a total of 3 millisieverts a year. And the role of radiation protection is to minimize occupational radiation exposure on top of these 3 millisieverts a year. This is where the German guideline of keeping additional exposure below 1 millisievert per year comes into play for individuals from the public like our students and you. Unless we have a radiation protection officer or flight personnel etc watching this video right now. Compared to the inevitable radiation exposure from nature, 1 millisieverts per year is quite small. We had to draw the legal limit somewhere. And this little device is our solution to document this planned occupational radiation exposure for our students. To minimize it, we follow the ALARA principle, as low as reasonably achievable. In other words, the experiments our students perform in the lab are designed to minimize radiation exposure while ensuring that they still achieve their educational objectives. Questions like, do I need to use radioactive powder or can I use a material that does not produce aerosols. No, I don't. But is the educational benefit of using this more radioactive powder justified when compared to a safer but less educational alternative? Of course, this example was very strongly simplified, but you get the point roughly, right? A special thanks goes to the working group of analytics and fundamental nuclear chemistry from Dr. Eric Strupp and the division of nuclear chemistry at the University of Cologne and to my Patreons. With that being said, goodbye.